yeah, if you if you know anything about our lives, you know that there's a possibility that we're gonna come on you. Um, <laughs> Our membership site is growing and we want you to be a part of it. We have over a hundred videos, so many exercises, tons of ways for you to learn, grow, heal, and inspire with us. Come on over and see what it's all about. Hey beautiful people, my name is Brittany. And I'm Connor. And today we're going to be talking about how to share with somebody that you are attracted to them when you are, say, exploring open relationships or maybe having alternative relationship dynamics that mm. this other person might or people might not know about. Right. Yes. The non-traditional stuff that many of us are not modeled. And we, and we just don't really know how to approach it, you know? Um, we have so many friends that we're attracted to, and it's, it's really nice to be able to tell them that we're attracted to them. And we've gotten a lot of questions asking, how exactly do you do that? Yeah. And even uh, questions from partnerships that are asking, how do we tell other partnerships, or how do we tell the, this, these individuals that we are attracted to them as a partnership? Yes. You know, how do you, how do you do that for the first time? I mean, for us, it's easy because we've done it a lot, but yeah. I think I can probably remember a time when it was like, I don't know how to do this. Yeah, or when we didn't have a YouTube channel where people would follow <laughs> us through, so now it's like, yeah. most people already know that about it. Yeah, there's like an assumption now that, yeah, if you if you know anything about our lives, you know that there's a possibility that we're going to come on to you. Um, <laughs> Nicely. So yeah, we've been getting this question a lot, and I think it's such a stellar one to yeah, talk about. Absolutely. Well, I loved um, what you were sharing with me before, which was, you know, just coming from an authentic place when you are sharing an attraction for someone and setting the stage for someone so that they can receive that. Yeah, for sure. I think setting the stage is always a good way to start a conversation that you might be feeling like... Right. Not sure how it could go, so you can set it with intentions. Mm -hmm. When I'm going to start a conversation with somebody that feels close to my heart or sensitive, I really like to begin with the intention behind why I'm sharing. Mm -hmm. Which, for me in this case, is because I'm excited and I want to share this thing that I think is really beautiful with this person that I'm feeling it around. And I usually have a desire to express more of my authentic self mm -hmm. and also to be closer with this person and to give an opportunity for them to express more of their authentic self. Absolutely. So really the overall desire is to deepen the relationship as well, which is really beautiful. And when I like to talk about these things, I, for me, after like trial and error over time, it's felt good to feel like when I share, I'm coming from a place of no expectation as much as possible or to have a lot of space for however my share could feel for this other person and i really like to preface my share by saying that too like these are my intentions behind sharing i have so much space for however you could feel about mm. this i don't feel like i need you to show up in any particular way i'd love it if you could hold space for me while i share about this thing with you and then I share, and I share, you know, like whatever I'm authentically feeling, such as I'm really enjoying our relationship so far. And I also noticed that I've been having these fun feelings of attraction towards you. And maybe I'm even specific, like sometimes I feel really physically attracted to you or sexually attracted to you. I think that you're so beautiful and I've wanted to tell you that. And I also, you know, really, honor you as a person or maybe honor the relationship you're having mm. with somebody if this person's in partnership or you know whatever and want to have a lot of space for whatever you're experiencing in your life and for this not to feel like because I'm sharing this you have to x y or z it's really a share that feels liberating and exciting for me and maybe it'll open new doors or maybe it'll bring us closer and I just have a lot of like positive hopes for for how this could go I love that. Yeah. And I think that we get this question um, because people who are asking it might be feeling a little fear about how the other person is going to respond and about perhaps how that's going to transform the relationship. And maybe yeah. there's a little fear that it's that in sharing that 
the relationship might end or the person may feel you know just uncomfortable or like who knows what there also may be a little fear of or maybe a big fear of rejection right which i, I think certainly comes up for everybody i know and it comes up for me yeah. um i really don't like feeling rejected you know and so how can we kind of set ourselves up so that all of that stuff is on the table in a gentle way and i love what you're talking about which is trying to come from a place where there isn't an expectation or assumption as much as possible as much as real is realistic for you and also that the big intention here is to deepen your relationship yeah not to express something so that something happens right other than really just getting to know someone better having someone know you better and have that connection deepen just because you share that you're attracted to someone it doesn't mean they have to return that same level of attraction in order for your relationship to deepen and we have yeah. had a lot of variations with how that kind of stuff is received and i think we've also been on the receiving end of people sharing attraction and had variations of how we reciprocate that yeah and sometimes yeah it's going to it's going to match up and sometimes it's not and is it okay you know can it be okay maybe it's really not okay for parts of you and can that be okay i mean can it be understandable that for parts of us we do have an expectation yeah. and if we don't get that certain result it might feel really hard for us is it still okay to proceed yeah. can we find balance there and if our ultimate centered and self-guided place is that this is something i'm doing because it feels important for me to be authentic in my relationships in general and if i'm not expressing or feel able to express this attraction then maybe i can't be as authentic as is important for me to be yeah this all comes back i think to compassionate communication and authentic relationships you know this is just one little piece of it where you know it's a, it's a it's a fun one i think to yeah, be looking so. at and to see how we can navigate to get closer to those kind of ideals of communicating compassionately and living authentically which i think we're all interested in doing the one person who asked me about this and i shared a response similar to this um she mentioned that she really enjoyed that response and recognized that like she didn't feel like she could right. share that That's a great point and she didn't feel like ready or didn't and didn't feel like that would be received right in a way that felt comfortable for her by the other person yeah so i wanted to ask if, if it was like you know after assessing what you had recommended was it that she she felt that this other person wouldn't be wouldn't it didn't feel safe to do with this other person or but like was it specific to that person or was it more specific to to her and how she was feeling like she could show up um i got the sense that it was a little bit of both mm -hmm. i think that she and I think that that's more like my analysis. Like I sure. would imagine that it would be a little bit of both. Um, she mentioned that she felt like that that person wasn't ready to hear that or mm -hmm. they wouldn't be able to handle it. Um, that person was also in a relationship and I think that she was feeling like that might be really uncomfortable for him to navigate. Right. Also, I feel like as we become more comfortable with ourselves, we can share anything basically yes. with anyone, which doesn't mean that we have to. I feel like I could share anything with anybody basically, but I might really not want to share certain things. Absolutely. And I think that this is a space that we're probably all navigating together, which is like, how can I push my edge in a healthy way? And opening up relationships and exploring attraction, expressing attraction, receiving the expression of attraction, attraction. This is all push. This is all huge growth stuff. Yeah, it's sensitive. Sensitive and vulnerable, mm -hmm. and it pushes our edge, and it can push our edge in healthy ways. And I think also it can push our edge in unhealthy ways. And that's really up to you, up to all of us, yeah. to feel out. I totally agree. Did you have a last word? No, there? I didn't. Yeah, look like it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Attraction is a pretty exciting thing to be feeling and for someone to share with you. Yeah. Most of the time. But 
you know, sometimes, sometimes things come up and it does feel uncomfortable either to share or to receive. And I think that's an important space to sort of navigate as well. And yeah, it would be nice if it was totally comfortable all the time to just receive people's appreciation. But sometimes it's not. And I think like that's okay too, you know? It's, I don't know that we are here to withhold. Yeah. I mean, I, I think we all want to, to push our to edge express. in that healthy way to express and to explore. And this message being generated from within you to express attraction is so beautiful and it's in its essence, it's just perfect. And I think we're talking about how we can kind of take that perfection and just send it out to someone else. Setting the stage and feeling confident in your heart, even if you're feeling a little nervous, feeling confident this is coming from a beautiful place and that there's no expectations or assumptions. These are all really good methods to start approaching that, regardless of the external circumstances, whether that person's in a relationship or you're doing it with a partner or however the non-traditional setup may look like for you. It's, it's a beautiful thing to be, it, it all is coming from that perfect place, you know? Yeah. I think that sometimes we're taught to shy away from the uncomfortable and you're probably not doing that you're watching this channel <laughs> you're probably doing some pretty cool radical things in your life so maybe you already know like there is so mm. much value in having space for everything you could be feeling yeah. and while it would be nice if everything around this topic and other topics were like easier or yeah just like flowed better that's not where the growth happens the growth sometimes happens in the discomfort and then more beauty is on the other side or more more of the traditional like easy to feel emotions are on the other side also regardless of how the share around this particular attraction could impact the relationship or how how the whole interaction could go i feel like it it feels really important to emphasize that the growth that you can have from it the self-exploration the the benefits that that you can get out of it and them, to be honest, are just exponential and it's so worthwhile. I know sometimes people feel like, oh, well, this relationship didn't go X way, so it wasn't worthwhile or whatever. And I just feel like every relationship adds to our lives in some way and some in huge ways. And the love that we feel that can always be with us, like the lessons that we learn, those will always be with us. And it's just so worthwhile to have those experiences. Absolutely. Like that's what we're here for. I think so. I think that's what we're here for too. Thanks for asking these questions. Keep them coming. They are great questions. So much love to you. Bye.